Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. So this is going to be what you could possibly expect for the month of February. So what can my Pisces expect for this month, for February 2020? What can my Pisces expect, please? What could my Pisces expect for the month of February 2020? All right. We have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. What could my Pisces expect for the month of February? We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Overall energy. We do have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. But we also have reconciliation and new love. Ooh, what a combo. What a combo. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like for some of you... You know, especially when, when it comes down to let go, right? I feel like you may have let this past person go, but I just still feel, or like you may have attempted to release this past person out of your life, but they're still there. They're still there. And for some of you, you're probably connecting with somebody new or will be connecting with somebody new. I mean, let's just look at this. Like, I just want to show you how I'm seeing this. I feel like somebody from your past may start flirting with you, Pisces. But I also feel like there's somebody new in the mix, whether they're currently in your life or not. But I feel like there's like a mixture here between a past person and a new person. Um, but I don't necessarily feel like your past person has really gone anywhere. Um, now with honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Pisces, moral of the story here. You're going to have to really pick and choose who you want to move forward with. Okay. Whether it's going to be with this new person or this person from your past. Pick and choose, baby. Pick and choose. Okay, let's move on. Okay. What could my Pisces expect for the... Ah. Ah. Okay. We have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Oof. We do have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different, oh uh, gosh, challenges. All right. Um, I feel like this is coming from somebody from your past here. It could be from the new person here, but I feel like regardless of who it's coming by or coming from, sorry, um, there's a lot of jealousy here. There's a lot of jealousy going on, man. So expect that. I, and I feel like it, it's honestly in between these two energies here. The new versus the old, literally. And I feel like somebody's jealous, whether it's that new person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with that's going to feel a little bit jealous about somebody from your past um, or vice versa, where, you know, like I said, I mean, it can go either which way. Don't really like this and how it's transpiring. i got to be honest. Um, let's see how it plays out, though. Let's see how it plays out. I just feel like there's going to be some sort of trouble in paradise if you will because i feel like somebody's gonna pop up from your past um and it may cause some sort of drama and chaos here but i feel like the new person may be jealous of somebody from your past or the past person's jealous of someone new in your life so pick and choose what makes sense here for you oh no man I feel like somebody from your past is a little bit jealous that you're flirting or you're like getting to know new people possibly. That could be a thing. I have another one and I put it away. You're supposed to go here. Oh Lord. Okay. Honesty to me, I view it as the ace of swords. So expect some sort of communication here. All right. Let's move on. What can my Pisces expect? For the month of February. What could my Pisces expect for the month of February? Alright. 
what can my Pisces expect for the month of February 2020 for the rest of the month? We're dealing with a Leo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Jesus. This is giving me a headache. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, <clears throat> Pisces, for the most part, let, let's just state the obvious here. You're showing up as a Nine of Pentacles. Could be connecting with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. You're single. Okay, you're single. Um, which means you can do whatever you want, right? Um, and right now, I think that you're focusing on, you know, your stability here. And overall, you like your freedom, right? And for some of you, you're probably dating. That could be a thing too. Somebody's not taking that well. Somebody's not taking that so well. I feel like right now you're good where you're at. Um, you know, long story short here, when it comes down to this past person, I feel like this past person really did break your heart and they really did disappoint you. And I feel like you've you've worked on healing yourself and, you, and you've moved on essentially. Um, but I just feel like somebody's coming right back around to you with the Seven of Swords. All right. Um, this is a very non-committal sort of energy here. Keep in mind that this could very well be the new person that you're connecting with or somebody from your past. But I feel like we're dealing with somebody that you have history with, um, and I feel like it's somebody from your past, somebody that you've already experienced an ending with. You know what I mean? So I do see somebody trying to tiptoe right back into your life. Just be mindful of that. But the way that you're kind of responding to all of this or the way that you will be responding to this is I need to protect my peace. Um, do I have the deck on me? I do. Let me show you. Dun. This is how you're coming off. This is how I see you right now. Or how you're going to be responding to this because I don't know. Here you go. Okay. So right now, you're protecting your peace. Okay. You're protecting your peace. Um, and you're creating that boundary between you and I honestly feel like it's somebody from your past. You've done a lot of work, Pisces, as far as healing is concerned. You put in a lot of work, a lot of effort to get where you're at right now. And this is why you feel good about yourself. You feel like you've overcome um, this heartache and this, this breakup here, which is a good thing, Pisces. But with this person tiptoeing right back into your life, um, I feel like it's going to cause, um, it, it, look at it as an intruder, if you will. Um, and I don't think that you like it. I got to be honest. I don't think that you're going to like it. Um, so then there's that. Let's go ahead and start breaking all of this down, though. Let me see, let me see what past, let me look into past life relationship because that's really calling me. Tell me more about, oh man, I just feel like somebody's going to come back around. I just feel like somebody's going to come back around. For some of you, expect some sort of apology too. Some sort of emotional communication here. This person may try to show you some sort of, some sort of vulnerability. They're going to be a little bit more affectionate and lovey dovey for you. Tell me more about past life relationship, please, for my Pisces. Tell me more about past life relationship for Pisces. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, it's coming. All right. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy here. It's all about manifestation here, okay? We have Strength again. Could be connecting with Leo. And then we have that Four of Cups. So I feel like, to be quite honest, um, there's somebody from your past here that misses you, okay? They may shoot you a text. They may start flirting with you out of nowhere, okay? But this person misses you. They do miss you. Um, and I feel like your person... Um, with the strength card here and the magician, they're doing everything in their power um, to try to get you back is what I'm getting. They're, they're going to try to do everything in their power to get you back um, because they're still kind of affected 
by the way things ended between you and them, to be quite honest, whether or not they show it or not. Keep in mind, we have the strength card. To me, I tend to look at strength as somebody who has a lot of pride. So essentially, out into the world, this person walks around like, oh, nothing bothers me, I'm not hurt by this. But in all actuality, deep down inside, they're really affected by how the relationship transpired and how things ended between you and this person. So essentially, your person's still dwelling on this. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles here in the reverse, Two of Swords for the overall energy. They feel like they're missing out. They feel like they're missing out on a, on a big opportunity here. Um, and they're starting to acknowledge that this is an opportunity that was missed. And they just want to do everything in their power to get that back. Nothing wrong with that. You know, given the circumstances. Um, <clears throat> and on top, listen, seven of swords, three of swords, ten of swords. I mean, we have the ten of wands. Okay, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that there was deception going on here. It doesn't necessarily mean that. It, there was just a really bad ending between you and this person. And for some of you, there could have been betrayal in the mix. Okay, but you would know if that's the case. But somebody's starting to realize that they're missing out on a really big opportunity and now they're ready to take you up on that offer, whatever this offer may be, whether it's long-term relationship, um, working towards a wrong, uh, a wrong, <laughs> a long-term uh, relationship here with you. Because they're starting to see that this Ace of Pentacles has officially left the building here and I feel like your person's starting to realize that and they're starting to get a little bit jealous because right now you're venturing off into the new. You're starting a whole new chapter. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're starting a whole new chapter with someone new. It could just represent that right now I'm, I'm busy loving myself, you know, and I feel like your person just may be jealous that right now you're solely focusing on yourself and you're protecting your peace and you're protecting yourself from this person. Um, but again, your person's starting to realize I'm missing out on something good here. All right, let's go ahead and break down the Three of Swords here. For some of you, this could have involved a third party situation. Again, you would know if that's the case. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Tell me more about that. Oh, that's too much. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Could be dealing with a Sag. Well, the thing is, is that l let me just talk about um, temperance because I did see temperance. I feel like your person wants to heal this situation. They're, they have this full understanding that, yes, we're not together anymore. I understand you, you've healed and you've moved on with your life. I get that. But I feel like your person, again, they're starting to realize that they're missing out on a really big opportunity here with you. Um, as far as stability is concerned, as far as long term is concerned, they totally see that with you. And they've, they're starting to feel like, shit, I'm missing out. Like, that's not fair, you know, um, because they feel that soul tie connection to you, Pisces. They feel connected to you still. And they're still very much so in love with you. But to me, I feel like your person's a little bit worried. Your person's a little bit worried that you're exploring your options right now. And the thing is, is that they feel like, wow, wow. Yeah, well, Pisces, this is deep. The thing is, is that your person's a little bit worried that you're exploring your options. And the thing is, is that they know that you're like, como te digo in English, um, they know that somebody just might see that value in you. Does that make sense? Like they're they're worried that somebody may take what they feel as though belong to them. They just reacted too late. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and it kind of sucks because they know that that if you come and if you just so happen to come into contact with that the right cup. They know that it could lead to something good. They know it because they know your worth and they know your value. So besides the point, but they reacted too late. They reacted too late or they're reacting a little bit too late. Okay. I mean, there's still, there could still be hope here. Okay. I'm not saying, you know, all is lost here. There still could be hope, but they know 
You know, like they know that, fuck, you know, like the person that I could have literally settled down with is out there exploring their options possibly. And they may just settle down with somebody or they're already settling down with someone because it got, it has them worried. It has them worried. It has them worried. They want this with you. They want this with you, but I feel like this person is responding a little bit too late. Um, hence, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving deck of the tarot, so that makes sense. I feel like this person um, tends to move at a very slow and steady pace here, and they just simply couldn't keep up with you. Um, and because they couldn't keep up with you, well, they missed out on that opportunity. And I feel like they're just trying to run back and, and get that sort of connection back that they've lost that opportunity that they lost it's it's kind of sounding like the one that got away to be honest it's sounding and, and it's so like ugh, you know but it's it's sounding like it the one that got away the one that got away but the thing is is that they know your they know your value and they know your worth and they know that it's only a matter of time before somebody sees that in you shit that's deep your person's in love with you. You know, they tend to reminisce about you quite a bit. But this is what we're being faced with right now, Pisces. So they may try to extend themselves to you. They just might, dude. Um, again, they're approaching this situation very slowly here with you. Um, just to kind of show you that, you know, they're coming back but for the right reasons, all right? Given the fact that your person was coming off as a seven of swords, this is somebody who's very fast moving. This is somebody who's very non-committal. This is somebody as well who just doesn't, it's like, I don't know if this person has, you know, well, they have a problem with, with staying put. So I feel like your person, the way that they're gonna go about it is they're gonna come back into your life they're going to take things rather slowly with you. I don't necessarily feel like your person's going to be that quick to jump into bed with you either. Um, they're going to take things rather slowly to show you that they're trying to stay put here and that they're serious this time around because your person's fast. Your person is fast. Um, and obviously, they, they, they're starting to realize that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I can't keep moving this way because look at what happened. Um so again be mindful of that tell me more about the four of swords tell me more about the four of swords wow pisces you may have healed from this situation okay and again i feel like you put in a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of self-love and that required isolation you know with the high priestess i feel like you know you went quiet on this person because you needed to focus on yourself and you need to start loving yourself first and putting yourself first um this person not so much i feel like they've tried to heal from this but they kind of failed miserably and just a little bit because your person they are in love with you that's besides the freaking point they do have a lot of love for you and they are in love with you and they feel that soul tie connection to you and that's what kind of stops them from fully healing from the situation um, because they still tend to think about you and on top of that it doesn't help that your person tends to dream about you quite a bit okay they can be able to heal from this they could and i feel like at times like they have their moments where it's just like oh i'm good you know i'm just relaxing you know i'm healing from the situation and boom any little small thing triggers them uh, whether it's a song that comes up on the radio and then boom, they're thinking about you again, whether um, or not they cross paths with you. For some of you, you may go to school with this person. You may work with this person. The slightest things tend to remind this person of you and that tends to trigger them. Okay. Tell me more about the seven of swords. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh, we have three major arcanas. I wish you would have broke it down for me just a little bit, but okay, I'll deal with it. We have the Seven of Swords, so Aquarian, Energy, Gemini, and Libra. We have Aries, we have the Devil, Capricorn, and then we have the Hangman, which is Pisces. This is what I'm talking about, um, that your person is very, very fast. Um, and because they tend to come off as a Seven of Swords, this is somebody, like I said, who can be very noncommittal. This is somebody who has a problem with sticking to just one freaking person or just staying still 
for a long period of time. Now, because your person was essentially coming off as the Seven of Swords throughout the freaking relationship, they have no choice but to take things rather slowly with you um, to not cause you to think that they're trying to control this situation all over again. But can I just be completely honest? I feel like your person still has that tendency of constantly feeling the need to control every little situation. You're not fooling me. Sorry. I just feel like the way that your person's going about it, they're trying to they're trying to essentially approach this situation with you a lot differently this time around. However, it's only so that way it throws you off. Um, so that way you don't think, okay, this person is just trying to control me. They're trying to control my situation. Um, and again, it's just to cause you to think that that's not the case. I'm going to go ahead and break this down. Actually, I'm going to break down the seven of swords because I feel like they're trying, they're trying to approach the situation differently with you. So that way you don't think that they're up to no good. Okay, because you could have been dealing with somebody who could have been very, very controlling, very demanding within the relationship. It's my way or the highway type of person, especially when we combine these cards together. We do have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this person could very well be working on letting go of, you know, these sort of toxic traits that they have. I'm, I'm more so leaning towards they have toxic traits. I don't necessarily feel like your person is toxic. Let's be honest. We all have something toxic about ourselves, okay? Um, and I feel like you're dealing with somebody who just simply has toxic traits. I don't necessarily feel like your person overall is just toxic, although they could be. Um, and they could be working on that. Um, but somebody who's toxic embraces the fact that they're just toxic. Somebody who has toxic traits um, at least acknowledges the fact that, listen, you know, I have a tendency of feeling the need to control every little situation. It's always my way or the highway. And I know that that's something that I need to work on. Um, and this could very well be them with the hangman realizing. Um, and it, it could be, you know, it could very well be. But since I'm getting two different storylines, I'm going to go ahead and verify that about the seven of swords here tell me more about the seven of swords for pisces tell me more about the seven of swords for pisces tell me more about the seven of swords ah Tell me more about the Seven of Swords for Pisces. Okay. Well, we have the Hangman here. I mean, the Hangman and we have the Hermit here. Could we deal with a Virgo? Okay. Let me just call it for what it is. Okay. Thank you very much. That Now that makes sense. Okay. I'm more so leaning toward your person's not trying to play a trick on you, Pisces. So that's good. Um, I just feel like your person's starting to acknowledge how they were within the relationship which is very noble of them right uh, a lot of people don't do that so the fact that this person can sit back and honestly think about the role that they played in this relationship says a whole lot about your person okay so i'll give them that respect okay because a lot of people don't do that they're so busy no it's you it's you it's you it's you you're the problem you're the problem okay, whatever, you know, at least this person's starting to acknowledge that, listen, the way that I approach the situation with my Pisces, the way that I tend to go about things, the, the way that I tend to act in the relationship where I constantly feel like I have the upper hand here, I'm in control, I'm better than you type of shit, they're starting to realize that. Um, especially with the hermit, that's all about going within searching for answers. And I feel like your person's starting to realize, yeah, I can't keep approaching this situation with Pisces like this. If I want to get anywhere, I need to get my shit together. Okay. Their head is lit up. They're well aware that this is a problem, um, that they need to essentially address. We have the hermit Virgo energy, and then we have the four of cups here in the reverse all over again. Your person is starting to go from within. Um, this does represent healing on top of that. But I feel like your person right now is starting to address a lot of issues that they have going on within them um, before they try to even make their move toward you, to be quite honest. Um, but like I said, your person does feel as though they are missing out on a big opportunity and it could very well be due to their own doings here, okay? Now we have the emperor here and then we also have the seven of wands. Listen, 
Um, when it comes down to the emperor, this is somebody, again, who likes to remain in control. This is a very masculine energy. Um, and this is just, and it could just be in their nature, um, just to come off as if they're in full-blown control. I do see them toning it down, okay? Um, listen, there, there's just some people that feel the need that they constantly have to dominate a relationship. There's nothing wrong with that, but when you over overdo it, that's when it becomes a problem, and I feel like they did. Like, I feel like they crossed that line. It's one thing to feel the need that you have to dominate, um, you know, like a relationship, but in a healthy way. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I, I myself like dominant energies. Okay. That's just my thing. Okay. I actually like the emperor a whole lot, but, um, that's fine. But when you cross that line and we, now we're in the, the devil state, now you're just abusing your power. And this person is starting to realize that they took things a little too far with you, all right? Seven of Wands here is a sense of feeling um, defeated on top of that. And I feel like your person feels a little bit defeated, especially up against you um, with the Seven of Wands. You're just like, I'm not taking that shit from you no more. I'm sorry. I'm not going to... Mm -mm. I'm not doing that with you anymore. You're not going to come into my life and control my life and tell me what I can and can't do. We're not going to do that. Um, and your person understands that. So it's almost in a sense where they have no choice but to lower down their weapons because I feel like it's like a, you know, Mexican standoff going, going on between you and this person. This person has no choice but to lower down their weapons and kind of surrender essentially to you in a way. Um, but again... I feel like it's just the vibe that you're giving off. Like, you're not going to come over here and disrespect me. And you're not going to disturb my peace or whatever it is that I got going on in my life. Because you feel good. That's besides the point. You feel good. But I feel like your person's starting to acknowledge that. Because they, they, they took, yeah, yeah, they took things, they took things way too far here. They, they abused their power. They abused their power and they know that. The thing is, is that they know that they abused their power. That's besides the point. All right, let's move on. Tell me more about strength. Could be dealing with an Aries, possibly an Aquarius here. And we have Leo energy. Listen, I feel like your person wants to let go of whatever happened in the past between you and them. They, it just, they have no desire for it anymore. You know, it's like the damage is done, you know, and this person knows that they can't go back into time and change absolutely anything. All right, Pisces, let's just, just me being honest. They know that they can't go back and change anything. The only thing that they can honestly do is look ahead and focus on the now instead of what already happened because we can't go back. We can't change anything. The full also represents taking new leaps of faith here. And I do feel like your person wants to possibly be able to start a whole new chapter and take a whole new leap of faith here with you and kind of set themselves free from how things ended and how things transpired between you and them in hopes that maybe possibly the two of you can be able to overcome this, especially with strength crossing a strength and then, you know, the Ten of Swords crossing it. They don't want to live in this sort of grief anymore, which is interesting because, you know, we did see that. They're ready to grow. They're ready to expand. They're ready to find that balance here. Um, I feel like your person does need to work on their self-esteem. The fact that anybody within a relationship feels the need that they have to control um, another individual, especially when they overdo it as far as abusing their power here. This is somebody who, for one, lacks that confidence. And, well, for two, um, they have, you know, th this person is just very insecure. Um so yeah, then there's that. Okay. Um, a lot of disappointment, a lot of regret here. I do feel like your person's trying to work on balancing out their emotions, though. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Your person wants to start a passion new beginning here with you, Pisces. They have a lot of love for you. They still do care about you. But I think that um, on top of that, your person's focusing on self-love um, on top of that, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Okay. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Magician here, Virgo Energy Strongly, Taurus, Capricorn. 
All right, let's talk about it. I feel like when it comes down to the Eight of Pentacles, again, for some of you, you may work with this person or you may go to school with this person, possibly. I feel like your person's working on some sort of plan here because I'm getting a lot of brainstorming going on. Um, and I feel like your person's kind of searching for ideas on how to approach the situation with you. I don't necessarily feel like your person has quite figured that out yet. Let's see. All they know is that they do want to reconcile with you and move forward. But again, as far as how am I going to approach the situation, they haven't quite figured that out yet. They're still brainstorming. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Bam. We got the Ace of Cups here. There it goes. They're still in the process of brainstorming, but this is their end goal here is to be able to offer this Ace of Cups to you. All right. So just be mindful. You may get some sort of love offer coming your way from somebody from your past. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, like I mentioned in the beginning, you know, they feel like you may be exploring your options right now. Um, they may feel like you're connecting with somebody new, but they don't want you to do that. You know, it's kind of worrying them and they feel like they have to kind of make their move. It's like a now or never type of situation. All right. Tell me more about the seven of wands. Like I said, I feel like this is just simply you. Again, trying to protect your peace. Um, and again, you're trying to gain control over this situation, but over, you know, yourself and in your life all over again. So this is just you simply protecting your peace. Um, but I definitely feel like you're showing this person the upper hand here. That could cause some issues. I will say that it could cause some issues. Um, uh, especially if you are considering and going back to somebody from your past, it could cause some issues, um, because they're showing up as the emperor as well, but this could just be simply, you know, be you blocking them off saying, Hey, you're not going to come into my life and, and, and try to control me all over again and tell me what I can and can't do. Um, and it could very well be the case, but I feel like your person wants to be able to make this work and they want to be able to come together with you. Okay. Tell me more about the two of wands here. I feel like you have a decision that you need to make, Pisces. If I'm being completely honest in reference to what you're going to do. Because I feel like some sort of offer is coming in. And I don't necessarily feel like you're going to be like, oh, let me take it really quickly. I feel like you're going to take your time with it. And you're going to process all of this. And you're going to think about whether or not you should take this cup from this person or not. Um, but again, you're going to have to pick and choose who you're willing to move forward here with. Okay. Um, your head is lit up, you know, you're going to make the right decision. Um, you just need to essentially, um, do what you feel is best for you. All right. Put your emotions to the side. Um, and just make a logical decision here. If you feel like going back to this past person, um, makes, sense if you if you feel like okay maybe me and this person can be able to have something together maybe we can be able to establish something together then go ahead and do what you have to do um if not you know continue to move on with your life i guess because you're gonna have to make a decision pisces whether or not you want to move forward with this person or not whether or not you're willing to take this person up on their offer or not and i do see you in a state of you know thinking about it. I'm going to think about it. You might just tell this person, let me think about it and I'll let you know. Let me think about it and I'll let you know. We have justice here. So that's a decision. That's a decision here. So you're going to find yourself in a state of being very indecisive on what it is that you want to do here when it comes down to this person. Tell me more about justice. Again, you're you're gonna do I feel like okay. I'm glad that these two cards kind of came out here. Uh let me put you in the middle. Okay. We have Leo, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy, and then we also have Aries and Aquarian energy here. Look at it this way. The fool is all about taking a new leap of faith and venturing off into the new versus a page of cups here. This is somebody that you're already familiar with. Either which way you want to look at this situation. 
it all depends on you, all right? Because there's potential for um, happiness on both ends here, whether that mean you venturing off into a new or giving this past relationship a second chance, okay? It's going to bring you happiness either which way. But ultimately, and like I said, you need to put your emotions to the side and make a logical decision. Don't go based off of your emotions, Pisces. Don't do it. Don't go based off of your emotions because sometimes our emotions tend to get the best of us. Um, so it's encouraging you to make a logical decision. What makes sense? What What's going to benefit you in the end? Okay, because it all really depends on you and what's going to benefit you in the end. Now we have the Six of Pentacles here. So this is Taurus, Energy, Virgo, and Capricorn here. I do see an exchange happening between you and this person. Um, but... You need to also, one thing that you need to take into consideration is you need to see this person put forth the effort. If you don't see this person putting forth any sort of effort, Pisces, you you, you already know what you got to do. You know what I mean? Um, but again, make once you make your decision, Pisces, or before you make your decisions, all right, I think that you need to show, you need to kind of see what this person's all about first. Um, and get a feel for them to see if they honestly want that equal give and take relationship because so far they're coming off as if they want an equal give and take relationship with you. Um, and I do see them putting more effort and giving to this relationship here with you and that'll help you essentially um, make a decision whether or not this is something that you want in your life all over again because it's coming. It's coming. Um, and again, this person may apologize to you, but you know, your happiness literally lies in your hands right now, all right? So then there's that. So Pisces, hopefully this reading resonated with you. Hopefully it brought you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.